Hey, how's it going everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Wednesday, February 24th, 2021. Talking some NBA on this report. Gonna get to that in a moment. If you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just wanna give it a trial run, click on that link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account, which you can then use on any of my daily packages or anybody else at DocSports.com. It is as simple as that. All right, here's what we got going before we jump into our NBA clash between the Lakers and the Jazz. Got a six-star college basketball play going on Wednesday. Biggest play so far this week for me in college baskets. We won yesterday. Real easy winner. Only had one play, but it was Georgia State, and they crushed Appalachian State 85-71. to uh, College basketball sides up over $4,200 on our current run. Six-star play goes today on Wednesday. I've also got, to kick things off, a seven-star play in soccer. Uh, we won again yesterday. We had Leeds United plus a buck 35 four-star play. We are now up over $3,000 in the month of February in soccer going 10 and 4. Uh, so we look to make it 11 and 4. It's a seven star soccer play. We've been real successful with these plays uh, over the past year in soccer, six star and seven star play. So uh, that's an afternoon play on a Wednesday. We kick things off with soccer. We've got the six star play in college baskets. I do have NBA four star play 0 and 2 last night in the NBA. 2 and 0 on Monday. Unfortunately, came back and went 0 and 2 on Tuesday. So we'll look to get ahead of the game with a four star play on a Wednesday in the NBA. And I've got a 2-0 card in the NHL for Wednesday. I passed yesterday, but we're back in NHL action on Wednesday. 100% spot on one of those NHL sides for Wednesday. But again, the stars of the show for me on Wednesday. Afternoon play in soccer, seven-star play. And in college basketball, a six-star play in the evening. You can check them both out on my homepage at DocSports.com. Don't know why I took the glasses off. We need them to uh, talk about what we're going to talk about, which is the clash between the Jazz and the Lakers. Lakers, uh, big dog here, getting uh, four buckets in this one as we speak. And I think they're going to have a trouble in this game again. Listen, I know LeBron would like nothing better than to come out against what's been the hottest team in the NBA for a while now and put the Lakers on his shoulders and get the outright win. He'd love to do that. But the bottom line is they don't need to do that right now. He's been piling up a lot of minutes, putting a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of this team on his shoulders, so to speak. And it hasn't worked all that well well lately. They've lost four out of five. They've lost three in a row. They had the complete collapse against the Wizards the other day. By the way, the Washington Wizards are playing red-hot basketball right now. Uh, there was somebody who reportedly put 10000 bucks, 10000 bucks, on the Wizards to win the NBA title last week, basically before all this started. So that's kind of interesting. I don't think they'll get there, but uh, they've been playing quite well. But back to this game. Uh, they blew into that contest. I watched the second half of that game. They just didn't have the strength to hold on to the lead, and they handled the Washington run. I think the same thing is going to happen here. You got no AD, no Anthony Davis still. Uh, you got Dennis Schroeder who's going to miss one more game this particular game. Meanwhile, Utah's just doing everything right. If you play against this team looking for them to slip up, uh, your bankroll has taken a heck of a hit. This team's on an incredible run, both straight up and against the spread. If you watch their last game against Charlotte the other night, they won by 22 points in that one. They had the big fourth quarter. They had four or five guys score 20 or more in the game. The bench hit 19 three-pointers. I mean, it's just been an incredible team effort by the Utah Jazz. The line's big, which is telling you something. I think the Jazz are the way to go here, so we're going to recommend a play on Utah minus the points over the Lakers on Wednesday. Hey, if you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. Check out my seven-star soccer on Wednesday. Check out my six-star college basketball on Wednesday. We'll look to sweep those high-end plays. All available on my homepage at DocSports.com. Let's put Wednesday in the win column back here Thursday morning.